What is up everybody, Ness here. Welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. I almost said sunshine. Today we are going to finish off Beach Bowl and then most likely hit the buoy base galaxy. I'm so excited to be back at Beach Bowl. I love this galaxy. I know I said it last time. Also, for anyone who was invested, the secret under sea cave. I figured out that that song that I could not think of the name of, the one that goes ba 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 bum bum bum, it's literally the Mario 1 underwater music. I literally forgot that there are water levels in the first Mario game. When I was like going through my head, I could not remember. No swim class today? Awesome. We are on summer vacation. I always thought it was weird, like, um, like Zelda and uh, Nintendo games in particular are so weird when it comes to like residents of locations. I don't know if that makes sense, but like these penguins live here. How do they, how do they live here? How do they, like, there's, like, you know, you're going to catch all the fish and you're going to die in, like, five seconds. If you look closely, there's a, whoa. I think he was going to say there's a crack in the wall. But we already know there's a crack in this wall. Just like there's a crack in everybody's, you know, you know what I'm saying. I don't got to say it. I don't got to spell it out. I didn't mean to shoot a star bit. What the heck am I doing? Did that bat just laugh at me? Okay, well, that's weird. I want to... I'm taking a, I'm taking this bat down. Alright. Get out of here, idiot. Stupid. Oh, there's a Goomba in a box. Goomba in a box. Goomba in a box with a baseball bat. I don't know why. Also, there's no music here and it's ominous, but it's like, it's Mario, so it's not ominous at all. It's just kind of weird. There's no music. There's more bats. Why do they have, like, glowing noise? That's a weird way to describe that. Alright, we have arrived at... This, I don't know, what do you want to call this? This obstacle course? I'm going to uh, take a shortcut here and jump. And I missed it, but I got the one up, which is all that matters. <laughs> I'm spaghetti. I am spaghetti. Mr. Sp Mr. Spaghetti. Mr. Resetti. Mr. Uh, Antonio Spaghetti. Let me know if you guys know who Antonio Spaghetti is in the comments. If you don't, well, that's to be expected. Anyway. We're gonna just play normal this time. I forgot that uh, our current character cannot make that jump. Oh, well, maybe you can, but I cannot make that jump with this character. I was uh, thinking of a different character on a, maybe a second playthrough or something like that, New Game Plus or something. Who knows? Wow, that was very close. Also, I think if you get crushed by these guys, you die in one hit. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm willing to just ignore them. We're fine. What are they gonna do? Crush me? You guys ever heard of Smushma? <laughs> I've asked that in like every episode. Somebody in the comments needs to leave a comment and say, What's Smushma? <laughs> Please. If you're listening to this, say, What's Smushma in the comments? Don't actually do that. It's not, but it would be hilarious. But also, don't do it. Don't let yourself get got. Please. Do not let me have it. Just someone naturally will watch this someday and they won't know what Smushma is. And they'll definitely get got by Smushma and it'll be the funniest thing ever. I don't know if I talked about it in the last episode, but I'm replaying Metroid Prime again. This is the third time I've played it. I don't know if I talked about it in the series, actually. This time I'm playing it on the actual Switch, because I played it on the... Uh, I played it on the Metroid Prime Trilogy for the Wii on the channel back in, like, December last year, 2022, I think. And then I played... It came out on the Switch, and I played it on an emulator, because I didn't have the Switch at the time. And I 100%ed it on the emulator. And then I am now playing it on the... Wow, Fast Faux Comet. Also, there's a secret. There's a secret star here. So we're not done with Beach Bowl. We're going to be spending a little bit more time in Beach Bowl. <coughs> Fast Faux Comet. I forgot about this one entirely. I don't think this one's used in many places. Maybe like there's like one other one in the game. There can't be more than three of these in the game. As you can tell by the fast foe comment, the foes are moving quite fast. I actually think that probably would have been fine to just have them move at this speed normally. And I don't think we're on a time limit or anything, so I think we'll be fine. Also, I'm seeing that there's a shortcut behind where you spawn, and I don't think I ever went this way. We will take this, grab our free one up. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're fine. Not gonna get eaten. Not gonna get vored. Vor, Vor is weird. I, I don't. I never understood Vor, but 
Maybe someday, who knows where the future will lead us. I'm open-minded, but you know, some stuff's a little weird and kind of weird. So that's, it is what it is. Don't look up Vor if you don't know what Vor is. Avoid looking up Vor. Um, it's for your own safety, I promise. Anyway, we're continuing for it. I don't know how we got, oh right, these guys like eat you. That makes sense, okay. I feel a lot less weird about it now. I'm like, this makes infinite more sense. I didn't just bring that up out of nowhere. Okay, all right, at least there's some logic behind my stupidity. Please, all right, they don't go on that one. Um, this might be a mistake. No, we're fine. Oh, okay, we're fine. We're fine. Dude, I'm gonna need you to get out of my way so I can grab this star. See, that's that wasn't even, like that, they could have definitely just made it that speed and then made them even faster for the fast foe comet. Is that what it was called? FF comet? Final Fantasy comet? That's like FF7. Should I play a Final Fantasy game on the channel? I don't know why I'm just in weird sporadic thought mode right now. Probably because I'm like kind of tired, but also kind of not tired and kind of like happy and in, in a good mood. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Kind of in the mood to play a final, like a long RPG. Kind of in the mood to play like a short RPG too. There is one RPG that I've been wanting to play on the channel. That's, I mean, it's kind of an RPG. It's kind of a, uh, like a bullet dodging game. Wink, wink, if you know what I'm saying. You probably can figure out which one I'm talking about with that, but I don't know. It's one of my favorite games. It's one of my all-time favorite games, and I definitely want to play it on the channel eventually. I just don't know when. Maybe after Mario Galaxy. Who knows? Who knows? But we're heading in to find a secret star here. I'm not exactly sure where this is. I don't know what I'm looking for. Let's see if this guy has anything to tell me. What do you have to say, Mr. Red Arm Man? Don't hit the wall on the ocean floor with the shell, it would break and... Okay. Oh, well, that... Grab a shell and hit... Yeah, he's gonna tell me, grab a shell and hit it, I bet. Alright, let's see. Is there any other walls that I can break with shells? I could've swore there was another one somewhere down here. Uh, Mario, you pizza, I need you to grab this. Okay. Don't hit the wall immediately and break. Oh, whoa. I thought there was a way to go there, but there wasn't. Let's grab these. Okay, now is there a secret over here? Whoa, that's not what I wanted. You can take these guys out on a date to get dinner? Wow, I did not know that. Okay, I'm kind of lost trying to figure out where the secret is, but at the same time, I guess I could try going up to like, I, I, I know we're trying to get over to there, that obviously makes sense, but like, I don't see anything, like, uh, in that cave, it was a, like a dead-end cave with nothing. I guess there's a treasure box with some light coming out of it. I can check that just to make sure. Wouldn't want to miss something so obvious like last time. This I'm going to have to take a long detour around here, and then we're going to go around this penguin. He's going to look at us because we're so cool. And we're going to line up the light on this treasure chest and throw. It's just a one-up. Okay, well, I, I guess I'll grab it. We don't really need any more life. We have... 43 lives. I don't even know how we got that many lives. How did, didn't I start this episode with like 37 lives? Where did we collect like another like eight lives? Or like, yeah, eight, six, whatever. Where did we collect another six lives? All right, we're up here now. I'm thinking that it's somewhere up here. Use Z to slow down while you're shell swimming. Oh, hey, that's helpful. There's a pipe here. I don't know if I've been in here yet. Definitely haven't. Uh, this looks kind of fun. Uh, I'd probably just do that, right? Yeah. This is this graphics is giving me an aneurysm. I can't. It's making me like almost dizzy. I'm not like dizzy, dizzy, but okay. I think that's actually fine. Okay, that's probably less fine. Actually, you know what? This probably works to my advantage. Okay, less of that, please. More of the up, please. You can't bounce after a bonk sadness. I meant to say spin, not bounce. Dude, okay, wait, this is this is gonna work though. Hold up, this is 100% gonna work. Check out my, my genius is showing. All right, we'll grab this, get all these star bits. Take out this Goomba with a homing ground pound. Holy smokes, that's a lot of uh, star bits. Dude, I'm getting that, aw, uh, broke. Kind of weird that the star bits shatter. Also, that's definitely like the Wind Waker water texture on the walls there. Speaking of which, is another game I'll definitely be tackling eventually. I'm gonna play through all the Zelda games. Don't you worry. 
I'll, every Zelda game will get touched on this channel eventually. I love Zelda. I gotta play more Metroid 2. And I gotta just play all of it. I got, I'm gonna play Nintendo's entire backlog. I'm definitely not doing that. They have some crusty games on the NES. You, you cannot pay me enough money. Actually, you definitely could pay me enough money to play some of those games. But, like, right now, ain't no way. So, I'm thinking we gotta get a shell up here. I don't... Is there a way to get up here easily to get to that uh, treasure chest with a shell? I don't... Okay, whatever. Let's grab a shell first and see what's going on. Uh, Mario? Pizza Boy? Okay, can I exit here? Okay. I'm up. I think we're good. I can't see. The camera's kind of wonky. This would be a perfect time if I had a C-stick. But I do not. A uh, launch star! Perfect! What a, wow, what a well-hidden secret. I'm pretty impressed that they actually hid that. Look at how cool this area looks! Ah. Uh, Driving and I'm speeding and I'm vigorously. Okay, anyway. We have a cataquack here. And we are going to bring this fella. I said. We're going to bring this fella all the way over here. Dude, this area looks really pretty. This is crazy. This game actually looks really good for how old it is. I mean, yeah, I'm playing it in 1080p, but like. We're going to get introduced to a new power up the Ice Flower become ice we can skate by shaking i said we can become skate mode by shaking and we can do wall jumps on the water which is awesome um i don't know how to like describe it but i was watching my friend play mario 64 rom hacks and one of the ones that is coming out uh one of the ones that's coming out basically has a power up that you can get in it that makes it so that you can press you can press a button in the air to do the next action in a command of actions so like if you do a wall jump and then you press the button you can do a another wall jump off of nothing in the air to reverse your momentum and it's it's just i don't even know how to describe i would i want to when it comes out when it's finally fully done i'm definitely playing that on the channel because it's crazy how cool it is but oh ice to meet you i think i'm gonna have to grab another one when it spawns because i'm running out of time we'll just go we'll go straight over here yeah we'll go straight over to the right oh my god he fell in the water by himself i didn't even do anything i just need to get his attention come with me and you'll be in a world of mario's imagination thank you for the help i actually really like that star i that's it's it's such a cool star it's a good secret it's got a fun mechanic it's got good music. You get to mess with the cataclysm, which they were underused in Mario Sunshine, and they were annoying because you had to like spray them to the edge and then get them to like limp over, and then you know it was just annoying. Mario Sunshine cataclysms are obnoxious, and then they like take they break your watermelon if you get too close to them. All right, so buoy base. You see, there's a Pokeball up there, but. Pokemon's another series that I have been considering playing. Floating Fortress. Pokemon series would be really fun to play. I don't know which one I'd play to start. <coughs> I might just start with like Sapphire or Emerald because it was one of my first it was my first Pokemon game. But we'll see. And this is a pretty cool galaxy. I, I don't any any galaxy that has like water in like a container like this is pretty cool in my opinion. This here is a floating fortress. We call it Buoy Base, but nobody's using it now, so we're just here for upkeep. Welcome to Buoy Base. There's penguins swimming. Guess what would happen if we blew up the underwater weight? Come on, guess. Give up. That tower in the middle of the water would float right up to the surface. Wow, that's crazy. I would have never guessed. I wonder if these penguins have anything interesting to say. I've never talked to them ever. Press Z to dive. Okay, you're useless to me. See you later. Bye. Blooper. Blooper just pooped after I killed him. Now the water is contaminated. Is that a toad over there? No, that's a machine. There's a robot guy over there? Hold on, we gotta talk to this guy. I've literally never talked to this guy a single time in my whole life. Probably faster to just, yeah, walk this, right? I would assume. Long jumps? I don't know what the fastest... Pro I'm assuming the fastest on land movement is probably long jumps. So there's a planet at the top of the tower. How do you get up there? What... Brother, we've already been instructed on how to raise this machine. Uh, okay, there's a lot of star pits here. 
Let's grab all of them. So we have that weight there. So out over here, you can see there's a bullet bill. Well, underwater bullet bill. I don't know if they have a different name, actually. Every type of enemy in Mario has a different name. Even if they're, like, the same enemy. He's coming. He's coming. He is here. <coughs> As you can see, the whole planet kind of, or the whole tower kind of rises out. Which, I love this. Oh, okay, we're getting stuck underneath invisible ceilings. We will... Okay, Mario. I'm gonna need you to, like... Mario, don't drown on me. Okay, we're fine. You can see there's these, like, inflatable platforms that came up with the tower. I can't believe I found... I can't believe. Okay, we're fine. Mario, I'm gonna need you to wall jump. They will work if you do them. What is this? Is this something that you can, like, pull? What is this? I've... Oh, whatever. I'm ignoring it. <laughs> Moving on. I don't I have no idea what that is or how you access it. If it is something that you can even access or if it's just decoration. Doesn't matter. We're going to not get shot by Flood here. Flood Jr. Not as cool as actual Flood. Kind of wish they would make another... Okay, that has to be decoration if there's another one up here. Unless it's a shortcut to up here. I bet you I can just do a... I bet you I can just do a... I bet you I can just do a... Okay, you can't wall jump off of that wall. Oh my goodness, Mario Galaxy. I almost just got Crush Mud. After all I've talked about with Crush Mud, imagine if I get Crush Mud. I'm supposed to be the Crush Mud Master. What's the Crush Mud Master, you might say? <laughs> well, <laughs> don't, don't leave a comment. <laughs> I don't know why I'm on this joke today. It's just, I'm just, I'm losing my mind today. Alright, let's grab this bluey. We're gonna need a pulse star apparently to get ourselves probably to that other planet that's near the top. Oh, okay, we're fine. I, there was I wasn't scared at all. I'm gonna spin this screw. How much you want to bet this guy? If I talk to this guy, he's gonna say, "You need to find all the blue things to get to the planet." Who left those watch shooters, water shooters on? Hey, would you mind give that valve? Okay, we need to give this valve a twist. You know, Valve, famed company that made Half Life. Counter-Strike, Team Fortress, uh, I don't actually know even how many of those games they made and how many they just kind of bought the rights to and keep alive by adding stuff to. <laughs> I'm pr I know, I know Counter-Strike was a mod that they made, or somebody else made, and then they bought it. Uh, I, f I feel like Team Fortress is probably the same thing. I don't remember for sure, though. I know Dota was a mod of Warcraft or whatever. And they bought the rights to it. I think that's it. I can't think of other games that I'm like. I'm pretty sure their original IPs are like Half uh, Half Life, uh, Portal, and Left 4 Dead, which are all great games. I would love to play Portal on the channel someday. I would love to play Left 4 Dead on the channel with my friends. I think it would be a hilarious. But I don't know how many people would want to watch it because it is like shooty and blood and violent, but. It's, it's, it's like over the top and really funny and playing with friends and how ridiculous it gets when you're trying to like coordinate with multiple people. It's, it's just fun. It's not like a, it's not stupid violent for the sake of being violent. It's just funny. I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't matter. We've opened the Pokeball and released the Pokemon inside, which is a star me. Get it? It's a star and it's mine. So it's star me. We'll get there eventually. Hold on. One more. Okay, we're good. <coughs> Look at how cool the water looks above Mario. That's definitely Wind Waker uh, water. You can't convince me it's not. I think there's a secret star in that level. So we will probably be re-entering it immediately. Mario got the star! <laughs> Nine coins. Perfect. I will save my game. You know what? I will save my game. You can't stop me from saving my game. Also, I, I didn't talk about the other two rooms because they're not that interesting, but this room is pretty cool. I like how it's like, actually is a kitchen. Like, the other one was just like a fountain with water in it, and the first one was just like kind of a room. I think. If I remember correctly. But that one is cool. I'm, I appreciate that one a lot. So, this one has a green question mark, which is a little different than the previous ones we've been looking at. We will re-enter. Best score, nine coins. So if I see any coins along the way that I don't have to go out of my way to get, I'll grab them, but 
I got a feeling that all of them are going to be a little too out of the way for me to want to go and get. Like these ones at the bottom? Heck no. You, you can't can't pay me enough coins to go and get those coins. Maybe if those were 10s, I would get them. But they're definitely not 10s. Alright. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Okay, we're fine. As you can see, there's a pipe here with a whirlwind. Or a whirlpool, not a whirlwind. Pool, because it's water. And now we are on the outside. Which I think is pretty cool. I think if you fall, is this, hold on, it is water, and now we're back inside. It is, uh, it's so cool that it's like a one way, basically, you can't swim out of it, but you can swim into it. Maybe you can swim out of it and you just fall and die, but like, so cool that we're like now on the bottom of the thing that we were just on. This, this Mario Galaxy is just such a good game. This is definitely one of Nintendo's like best ever made games, in my opinion. I, I definitely think it's their best Mario game they ever made. And as you can see, there's a green star in there. Super green star 64. Mario 64, the green stars. I actually need this. I can't believe that happened that way. I brought I ran around for an... Oh. Oh. I ran around for an hour with that bullet bill. Not realizing I needed it. And then as soon as I realize I need it, it pops to something that isn't what I need. Can't believe it. I'm throwing again. My middle name is throwing. We did we did come to this conclusion. I'm not stopping to get this box. I'm gonna die if I do. Hopefully I can just get this guy here to come and follow me. Follow me. I promise it's the right way to go. I promise. Let's go. That, that was really lucky. I'm not even going to try to hide how lucky that was. That was just full luck. We have collected our first green star. Oh, man. I can't... When I play Mario Galaxy 2, that's going to be the first time I 100% that game. And there's like 242 stars that you have to get in that game. That's going to be crazy. We're back at the observatory with Rosalina and Luma. Alright, let's see. Four coins. You rescued a green power star. These stars have a special power. Ask the green Lumas about them. After all, they will transform into green power stars someday. They are, wow, the Lumas transform into stars? I wonder if they transform into different colored power moons, and that's the canon of how the moons came to be in Mario Odyssey. I just completely thought of that on the spot. I hope it's true. Thank you for helping me. I am a guardian of the trial galaxies. To restore the doorway, we will need the power of two others like me. So we need two more green stars. It's kind of towed up to you right now. The observatory has gotten brighter and there are more places you can go. Things are bound to get busier now. <coughs> We're so busy. If you get a grand star and restore some of the observatory's energy, a dome will open. It allows us to observe. Yeah, we already know this. I thought he would say something useful. This guy is literally sleeping. Leader Squish. Wake up. Okay. Guess he's not going to wake up. But guys, I think that is probably all for today. I think next time we'll check out the... Well, look at how cute these guys are. They're like hanging out together. I think next time we will check out the Spooky Mansion Galaxy. I don't actually know what it's called, so I'm just going to call it Spooky Mansion Galaxy. But thank you guys so much for... Okay, I guess I'll show off that if you fall off, you don't die. Rosalina has magic that keeps you alive. <coughs> Either way... Thank you guys so much for watching. You know the whole deal. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. We're trying to hit 500 subs. It's coming. It's getting closer every day. And. Wanna, no. I don't want to. I didn't mean to talk to you. And. I'll catch you back here tomorrow guys. Take care everybody.